I chose question three, um, self-reflections and logic. I was to research the or look over the logical fallacies PDF uh, the professor has provided and choose three that apply to me most. Um, there were quite there was actually a few that apply to me, but the ones that stood out to me most were burden of proof, anecdotal, and I ad hominem, if that's how it's pronounced. Um, and a logical fallacy is faulty reasoning that is used in an argument. So the first one I chose was anecdotal fallacies, which is a situation where you use personal experiences or an isolated example instead of sound a sound argument or compelling evidence. So an example that I use was the drug ep epidemic in Center City, Philadelphia, that it's not truly being addressed, you know, that, that the proper funding isn't uh, being given to, to address this problem. And, um, you know, I, I just base that solely off of basic understanding of the situation itself through, you know, news reports and, and, and uh, you know, word of mouth of, of friends, of families, of people who, who've been directly impacted uh, by it. And a way I can, you know, address that uh, fallacy that I have is to really inform myself on what is being done rather than what's not being done. So, you know, the treatment centers and, and rehabilitation centers throughout the city that are taking, you know, an influx of patients and, you know, trying their best to really, you know, flip the switch and, and try to turn their life around and, you know, diminish the rate of, of people, you know, potentially, you know, overdosing or, or you know, ruining their life because of, uh, you know, drugs like heroin and, and, uh, you know, cocaine and crack, you know, but, um, crack of me. Uh, so what I can do is, is, is really do, yeah, and for myself on, on the statistics and reports on, on the positive end on, you know, the, the progress they are making instead of basing it off solely the belief that, you know, it's just getting out of hand to a point where, where it's just not being addressed, but truly it's just getting out of hand to the point where it's being hard to maintain and, and keep up with. Um, the second fallacy I chose was ad hominem, say it, which is when you attacked, you attack your opponent's character or personal traits and attempt to undermine the argument. Um, the example I, I would use is, I feel like a lot of people, this applies to a lot of people, um, whether it be any argument really, you know, some people are like that when, when they're, when they're being, um, when, when the other person is, is you know, you, you could tell when they are making fair points and, and kind of convincing you, you don't want to accept that you're losing the argument. So you'll make personal attacks to, to, you know, try to pick you, pick you back up in the argument, but truly it just makes you look bad. And it's, it's a bad fallacy to have. Um, and the way you could fix it is to be, you know, more open-minded, um, to the, the person you're arguing with standpoint and, you know, really try to understand what they're saying and, and see if you can kind of relate in a way and, you know, see if there's actual, you know, factual, you know, ba a factual basis on, on what they're saying and to not just, you know, tr like uh, the definition to try to undermine their argument, you know, so to be more open minded. The last fallacy I chose was burden of proof. It says you said that the burden of proof lies not with the person making the claim, but with someone else to disprove. The example I chose was was vaping. Um, I feel like that's a big topic in you know our generation today. Um, so the example was that 
I believe I I believe that um, vaping was um, a proper alternative alternative to smoking, and, and it would you know benefit you, and it, it is you know less obviously less harmful than than cigarettes, but um, you know factually today it's proven to to actually have a detrimental impact on on uh, people like individuals physiology um, there have been instances and in, in, in cases where people have had their lungs collapse like a lung collapse um, <clears throat> but once again that's that's an excessive you know abuse of that uh, alternative to smoking which is the reasoning why why it's been such a such a controversial topic today because it was designed to help uh, lung health for people who, who have smoking addiction, but it has ultimately been taken advantage of and, you know, just, just you know, backtrack. And, and people, there have been situations that I have, you know, witnessed where people have actually gone back to smoking cigarettes um, because of, because of the widespread reports of, of, you know, um, health def uh, health damages from from the result of uh, the abuse of vaping so that, that that would that would be my example for burden of proof thank you